Well, the nationwide travel ban has been generating reactions among Nigerians with public affairs analyst Achike Atrudo describing it as a step in the right direction. Atrudo in a Skype interview with TV360 said the decision will help control the spread of the infection which has so far affected most Nigerian states. Any effort that is made towards uh, preventing this from becoming as devastating as we have seen in other places is something uh, that is commendable. But again, of course, you know that in the battle against uh, this kind of pandemic, that there are so many measures that one has to look at. And this um, lockdown, interstate lockdown, is just one of many. Uh, so many have been done in some places where we had uh, lockdowns earlier. Uh, Lagos, um, Ogun State, um, where uh, churches and the you know religious bodies, mosques, and uh, gatherings, theaters, and the rest have um, uh, you, you know activities in those places have essentially essentially come to an end. And then in most other states in the country, uh, you, you know it's been taken very serious. So I think it is a step in the right uh, direction. But uh, the issue is, or the question is, is it going to stop uh, the tide? Uh, to some extent, it's going to do that, but uh, only with uh, serious uh, limitations, obviously. Achido, however, urged the government to put in place measures to ensure the relief items meant to cushion the effect of the lockdown gets the right persons and households. What is going on is a shame and a scandal. The fact that uh, these palliatives uh, seem to be getting to very, very few people and the people that is getting to a lot of us do not even know. And uh, there is, uh, people have posited that if you want to get these things across to people, there is the, you know, the uh, BVN that a lot of people are conversant with and so many Nigerians have been forced to use uh, the BVN. And so what it means is that uh, you, you want to get palliatives to people, you want to get cash to people, you use the financial system to get this, I mean, these things across to people. The way it's being done has elicited a lot of um, uh, suspicion that government officials are, you know, stealing uh, these palliatives and profiting to, at the detriment of the Nigerian people. So that is one area that I'll be looking at, that the social consequences of uh, this lockdown should be looked at, and that is that the welfare of the people must be uppermost uh, in the minds of those that are in government. They must do something to address the increasing hunger in the land.